Welcome to Vector's interactive lesson on workspace tools. Workspace tools are the tools that pop up anytime you have something selected. These little tools up here. Now the first two are for flipping, meaning that you can flip something from left to right or flip something from top to bottom. Let's have a look at what that looks like. This tool flips from left to right, meaning it mirrors the path from one side to the other. When you hover, you get a preview, and if you click, it will save. The next tool flips, but from top to bottom. These next tools are for moving forward or moving backwards. You'll see that this, when you hover and click, moves this path in front of this path. But it didn't move it all the way to the front. If you want to move all the way to the front, hold down your shift key and click and you'll move all the way to the front. Or hold down your shift key and click and you'll move all the way to the back. Now you'll notice that when you select multiple items, you get more workspace tools. These are your geometry tools, which let you create a new path using two old paths. You have union, which will create a new path that merges the two paths together. You have subtraction, which will create a new path where one, the top path is subtracted from the bottom path. You have intersection, where the path is created where the two paths overlap. And then you have difference, where the path is created only where the two paths do not overlap. Let's go ahead and pick union. Now you have one new path, which was made from the previous two paths. But what happens if you still want to edit one of the squares that you use to create this new path? You can do that by double clicking. And once you do, you'll notice that the two squares are still here. You can select one of them, change it around, press enter when you're done. And you'll see that you still have the full power to edit your new path and the paths you use to create that new path. That's all for now. You'll be able to try this all out for yourself in the interactive lesson. We hope you enjoy.